Welcome to 7stringbass.com. Today, we have an interview with the incredibly talented 7-string bass player, Donald Waugh, from donaldwaugh.com. Donald, what made you choose bass in general? The reason I chose the bass was because of my sister's husband back then. Um, I was about, what, 17 years old? And um, I, I went to their house to the Stilvo um, for the night. I was visiting. And um, I saw he had like a bunch of guitars in the corner of the house and only one massive case. I, I, thought it was a bass so I asked him what was in the case to the bass and I said yes can I see it and he said sure and I took out this amazing looking Fender Jazz I think it was a 1970s version very small neck and um it was just so beautiful and I asked him how was it tuned he told me EADG and because of my 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 past history of um classical music and I knew notes, I knew what notes were and semitone and all that. So he just told me it was tuned that way and the frets are semitone. And they eventually went to bed. So I stayed up the entire night listening to the radio, listening to different records and just playing along, trying to pick out the notes, trying to play scales, whatever. And when it was morning, I, <laughs> I continued playing and uh, my sister started to freak out and like... <gasps> Donald just learned the bass overnight. I was like, ah, no, I just learned one song. I was playing La Bamba Dum, do, 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 ding, ding, do, do, do. But what, that was exciting for me because it was the beginning of a, a, an amazing journey of this beautiful sound, you know? What made you decide to pick up seven string bass? There's one reason why I decided to play seven string bass. I was playing this song, I remember playing this song called Wonderful Tonight. And um, I ran out of notes on the sixth string. <laughs> I was like, I need, I need more notes. <laughs> so I searched online and I found myself a seven string bass. And honestly, that's, that's the reason. It sounds stupid, I know. But... Got to start somewhere, right? <laughs> what shaped your choice of genre? The music that kind of shaped my choice of genre would have to be my man Sting and um, Bob Marley, Herbie Hancock, Chick Corea. Uh, my gosh, so many artists out there. Um, Richard Bona, uh, Marcus Miller. Ama just amazing artists, Yannick Guzdala, just to name a few. 
But I find um, just, you know, listening to my mom sing throughout my life, you know, growing up with her or watch my dad play or, you know, just so many things that, that just come together to to shape what how I play. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. You know, I'm, I'm influenced by pretty much everything around me, you know. But um, if, if you listen to uh, Just Passing Through, it's it's more of a pop album and then the second album i kind of start venturing into world music kind of a little bit jazzy-ish um for um feel brand new the second album but i don't know i, I don't know what's, what's gonna come next I'm, I'm working on the third one now so i'm just excited you know and, and i'm trying to keep an open mind to the possibilities of what can happen next it's it's really really awesome what kind of gear do you use? The gear I'm currently using is the Cunningham RLJ S7 seven string bass. Uh, and uh, I use a G7 uh, capo, you know, when I'm doing my chords and stuff. Um, I'm currently um, just start using the Donald Wall Signature um, River Straps. Very nice. And. Um, when I'm doing uh, certain shows and I'm traveling a bunch, I'll, I'll grab my uh, wing instrument here, uh, the wing bass. Very nice instrument. For the amp, I'm using the, the D400, Phil Jones D400, and uh, the Phil Jones Cab 47, a pair of them. Um, for the pedals, I'm using the Digitech uh, IPB10 for um, effects, uh, reverb, delay, whatever. And for the, the looping pedals, I'm using the Boomerang Phrase Sampler. How does a 7-string bass compare to more traditional basses? The 7-string bass to me have been a, quite a blessing, I must say, because, you know, having that extra range, it makes it so much easier to play, <laughs> honestly. You know, just being on one, pretty much one position and being able to play all the notes of a four string bass. That's awesome, you know. To me, I look at this instrument as just multiple instruments in one. You know, it's, it's a four string bass, or it's a, a five string bass, or it's a six string bass, you know. Or it's a guitar. You know, so, I don't know, it's... I think it's an incredible instrument, uh, incredible invention, and just being able to, to express yourself on a, an extended range such as this one it's quite awesome how would you describe your writing process my writing process is a bit weird um sometimes I, I'll, I'll just hear the rhythm you know i mean i remember when i was writing the song crazy for you you know i knew i i wanted a song in in a 78 time signature but i didn't really have a melody until I met uh, my partner. And she just, I don't know, she inspired me big time. And um, it, the melody just came, you know, and it fit perfectly over that 78 time signature. But other songs, uh, how they got inspired, mostly by people or experiences, whether it's happy experiences or sad ones. But um, it's weird. I, I could be sleeping and I hear this strange melody in my head and I wake up and I just can't stop. I have to go quickly and knock it out, you know? Or I'm on stage and I'm improvising and I play a melody. I, I remember um, Wanna Love You. That song I wrote while on stage. It was weird. The, just the melody was just there and I couldn't stop playing it. The audience probably thought I was crazy. But anyway, my inspiration just come randomly from anywhere and everywhere. But um, it, it's just been an awesome experience just being able to do this. This is humbling and, and I appreciate um, the, 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 the chance to be able to do this. Do you have any formal music training? When I was 10 years old, my mom gave me this wonderful opportunity to learn um, classical piano. I was taught uh, from I was 10 to about 14 and then exam time kind of came around and I had to stop 
but it really helped me big time when I started playing the bass at age 17 because I already knew um, notes and semitone and, and the, you know, how to read. So it was easy to just pick up um, a sheet music and, and go ahead and, and pick things out and, and learn it that way. But um, I was taught the bass for a short period, probably about for, um, maybe six months, um, by Maurice Gordon. He really gave me, gave me the, the the start, the you know, the start I needed to really pursue this career. After that, it's pretty much just um, you know, school of hard knocks, <laughs> so to speak. Um, just learning on the road and just acquiring information through learning records and just reading different uh, books and just just learning from my fellow musicians, piano players, drummers, sax players, anyone I can learn from. But it's it's been a great lesson and um, understanding how to read has really been a, a huge help. And I have to thank my mom for that. Thank you so much. But yes. Um, a little bit of formal training, but a whole lot of just listening and, and learning that way. What is the role of the seven string bass in your playing and writing? And how do you think it influences your music? In, in the beginning, uh, when I just started writing, I used uh, an acoustic guitar or piano or stuff like that. When I started um, playing the seven string bass, I find myself leaning towards it more often to write. A matter of fact, the second album was, I'd say, 95% uh, written using the seven string bass. Um, I find because of the range, it's as if you have multiple instruments in just one instrument. You have your guitar, you have that low heavy bass with the B string, and you know, it's, it's like a drum too. It's, it's such a percussive instrument. And bass in general is quite percussive. Um, so it's a really, really cool instrument with, you know, with so many different tones, you know, you can thumb it, you can mute it, you can slap it, you can use harmonics, you can tap it, it's, it's endless, it's insane. Um, so it's a nice color palette, you know, when you're trying to create a, a kind of emotion when you're writing. So it's, it's been quite a ride, you know, it's, it's been awesome. Thank you. 